Some Benefits of Immutability Let's start Python and take a look at two of its data structures. We have lists, which are formed using the square brackets, and we have tuples, which are formed using parentheses. We can access the index of a list, like so, as we've seen. We can also access an index in a tuple. Likewise, a list can store values of various types. A tuple can also store values of various types. So then why would we ever want to use a tuple instead of a list, or a list instead of a tuple? One major difference, as we know, is that lists are mutable. We can reset any index in the list at any time. Tuples, on the other hand, are not mutable. Tuple object does not support item assignment, meaning we simply cannot reassign an index of a tuple. Why then would we ever want to use a tuple instead of a list? A list seems to have more functionality. What the immutability of a tuple comes with is a guarantee. If you're writing a program that expects to encount a data structure with a name, maybe another name, and maybe an age, then it will be a benefit to you and your program to always feel secure that these data points, and exactly these types of data points, string, string, integer, will be available in this data structure of length 3. And you may say, well that's fine, but I can do the same thing in a list. I am in control of what I program, and I can make the guarantee that I will never have a list beyond link 3, and that every one of my lists will have a string, and a string, and an integer. Well, to put it bluntly, Python disagrees with you. Let's look at a dictionary, which we haven't encountered yet. Dictionaries are set up with curly braces. They take a key, followed by a colon, followed by a value. And separated by commas, you could do this multiple times, and create a structure. It looks like this. And now, we have a data structure which stores data by keys, and it finds data by keys rather than finding by indices, as we see in lists. Now, keys can be integers like we just used, they can be strings, 
and they can also be tuples. I can use my tuple to access the data stored at that location in the dictionary. But what would happen if instead of a tuple, I tried to use a list? Python will not allow me to use a list as a key in a dictionary. Why? Because the list is mutable. The dictionary cannot have a guarantee that this data structure being used as a key will not change by the next time you try to use it in this dictionary. On the other hand, using an immutable type gives the dictionary a guarantee that this key will be the same and will be able to access the same data. So that is a very practical difference between the mutable list and the immutable tuple. There is also a semantic difference between the mutable and immutable data types. This is a difference that is useful to keep in mind if you're writing code, especially code that someone else may be reading or using. The list data structure is most often used to store homogeneous data. I'm just writing notes here, I'm not assigning anything. The tuple, on the other hand, is typically used to store heterogeneous data. So what do these two terms mean? Homogeneous data is typically data that is of the same type, or that means the same thing. So a list is very useful for storing names, ages, anything that is consistent throughout the list. Tuples, on the other hand, storing heterogeneous data, are useful for storing different kinds of data types, but in a consistent order throughout the tuples that you're using in your program. So in my program, I might expect the first name to be the first entry in my tuple, the last name to be the second entry in my tuple, the age to be the third entry in my tuple, and I will know as the programmer what these data types are expected to be. And even though they are different data types, I will at least have the guarantee that one tuple looks like the next. So in this sense, we could have a list which stores a similar kind of data type. So let's put t as the first entry in list, followed by another similar entry, and now what I have is a list of records. So my list could be expanded every time I get a new record, but I have a guarantee that every record in that list 
is the same, that is, is comprised of the same data points and data types. So I could then, for example, iterate through this list using each one of these records as a key to a dictionary. Maybe my dictionary looks like this. Remember, we still have the tuple stored at T. So you can imagine using a record to look up the status of a library book that someone has checked out. Another example of where it may be useful to have a tuple as a key is if you're keeping notes on a book and you want to store the page number and the line number and then any notes you have in that on that line. So by using this tuple, which guarantees a page number and a line number, I can figure out what comments I had on that page number and line number. I could even create a special kind of dictionary where I could check any page number or line number, so guarantee a tuple as a key, and then if I had no note on that page and line number, then the dictionary could return that. But again, that's a special kind of dictionary, but a useful application of tuples as keys. We'll cover dictionaries a little later on. So quick takeaways from this video. An immutable data type is both predictable and hashable. That is, it can be used as a key in a dictionary. And moreover, immutable data types are very useful for storing heterogeneous data. That is, data points that are of different data types, and we want to guarantee of what data points and data types will be in our record. We can store heterogeneous data in lists as well. Python certainly does not prevent us from that. However, since it is good convention and good practice to store heterogeneous data in a tuple and homogeneous data in a list, it's a good thing to keep in mind in case your code is going to be read or used by someone else.